It seems not everyone is charmed with your arrival. And with your father's murder investigation in full swing, can you really trust everyone around you? Yes, today we are back with the next part of the Eris game on the episode Choose Your Story. If you have not seen the last one, there'll be a little playlist right here. But we're finally getting some information about what might be going on, especially with our little uncle who tried to play us at the charity auction and put up a fake tiara for us to bid on and make us look bad and waste money, except we played him and reversed everything and called him out. So we snatched him right there. We've also had a little more time with some of the boys. So we have four whole love interests. I don't know who I'm going for yet. We're going to have to find out. But let's jump into this one. Please go follow the amazing author Earl Grey T. Her Instagram handle is in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, Let's start the drama. Freya! Elliot, are you hurt? I'm alright, but Freya... I don't know why that was a bit strange to me. I mean, I guess his father's instinct should be to care about his kid first, so... Can you stand up? Are you okay? So someone is out to try to get us... Miss Aldridge. <laughs> Whose hand do I accept? Literally everybody's putting their hands out. Okay, so Dean, Callum, Marcellus. Mar okay, let's go through them. Dean is a detective. I kind of want to give him a chance. We know Callum. We already have points with Callum. Marcellus, I really need to get to know him more. As of right now, I just don't feel like I know him. He's a really sweet bodyguard, and I like him. But, ooh, I need more points with Dean, I'm pretty sure. So let's, let's, let's take Dean's hand for some drama. Thank you. Are you all right, Miss Aldridge? Get me out of here. Don't you know who I am? I'm Charlie Aldridge. Forget the kids. Evacuate me first. Forget the kids. Now, see, he's my number one suspect, but the reality is, is he's so obvious, I would be a bit shocked if he actually was the murderer. Hmm. What an embarrassment. Everyone is panicking. This is my chance to show everyone that I'm better. We already have been making, like, stuff. I can't believe that just happened. I could have died. That was so scary. Things are pushing me out of the way, Marcellus. Are you all right? We need to get you out of here. Is someone out to hurt me? Yeah. Yeah. Preliminary investigations have concluded that no foul play was involved in last night's incident. No foul play. Even though my father was murdered less than a week ago and I was nearly crushed to death last night? The chandelier had rusted. It was simply an unfortunate coincidence that you were standing under it when it snapped. So you're ruling it as an unfortunate coincidence. Until more evidence presents itself. Yes. What about my father's murder case? Any progress on that? We're still working on it. You know what... I'm not trying to cause any problems right now, but a little strange, a chandelier came crashing on us almost and killed us and the father died a week ago. Mm, coincidence? I don't think so. I think not. I think foul play was there. They ain't doing jack shit at this point, but we're just going to lie and to keep up the good work. We will. Have you seen Dean? He's a complete mess. He was at the scene of the crime last night. Everyone is talking about that falling chandelier. Didn't they rule it out as an accident? I don't think Dean agrees with the ruling. I guess it wouldn't hurt to pay him a visit. Dean, he's still in a suit from last night. Did he come into work straight after the party? Thank you, Dean. He's the only one who seems to be taking this stuff seriously. Everyone else just seems to be sitting around just ruling things left and right, but not actually doing the research. Must uncover the truth. Must protect. Must protect. Dean. What you talking about, Dean? Oh, no, not the coffee going. Oh, my gosh, I am so sorry. It's all right. It's already cold anyway. What are you doing in here? I just finished speaking with the police chief regarding last night. He told me it was an unfortunate coincidence. Well, I beg to differ. I do, too. Don't worry, I'm working on it. You're still in your suit from last night. I've been working on the case. Chief was eager to dismiss it as an unfortunate mishap, but not me. Eager? To dismiss it. Eager. Eager. You have a murder case still open? And then the now daughter who should inherit everything almost gets crushed to death by a chandelier. And you were eager to rule it as an unfortunate incident. 
And we know by now that the police chief is not about doing the right thing. Considering when our character was getting um, interviewed, what I forgot the word right now, interrogated about her father's murder, just in case she was possibly involved in it to magically get all this money and everything. He was so quick to just be like, oh no, ma'am, it's fine. All because she's rich. Mm. So if money can buy him for that, could money buy him for other things like covering up a crime? I think so. I have reasons to believe it's related to your father's murder. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Someone is out to silence me too, but why? I literally know nothing. Unless they're aiming for your title. And the most likely suspect right now is Charlie Aldridge. Yes, we know. Is this the first time we agreed on something? Are you okay? Were you hurt last night? I'm fine, not even a scratch. That's good. Dean, it's time for the press conference and you're taking charge this time. Please tell me you're not going to turn up on that. It's going to be broadcast to all the major news channels. People will be turning in. I can't have my officer showing up in a coffee-stained suit. What will it say about us? But it's the only thing I have on me now. Find something to change into. You're the face of our force. We need you looking your best. Miss Aldridge, why are you still here? Police chief. You can complain a lot right now, but I don't see working on no case. Just checking on something with Dean. Crap. I feel partly responsible for the coffee. Dean is the only one who actually works the rounds here. Oh, would it be fair for him to be penalized because of an outfit? I can help. How? Get some points with Dean. Order him a little new suit. He's looking much more confident in that suit. Okay, so I actually kind of like Dean because it's a little unlikely. It's not the classic bad boy, even though I think... Mr. Bad Boy is probably the one I think is the hottest personality-wise. Do we like him that much? I don't know. I could have sworn his eyes lit up and the corner of his lips were tugged upwards when our eyes meet from across the room. With regards to the falling chandelier incident last night, the police has conducted a thorough investigation. Well, preliminary investigations just said it was an accident due to rust. We do not rule out the possibility that someone was behind it. It seems my suit gave him courage in more ways than one. Thank goodness. I'm sorry for making you do this after your trip to the police station. This will be your first official business meeting. Most of our major shareholders will be attending it. What is it about? The opening of the Alderidge Resorts. I recognize a few familiar faces in here. We have to tweet about our opening on Epitur. Hire influencers. I say we hire Hollywood celebrities. What do you think, Freya? We're counting on you to ensure the opening of the Aldridge Resort is perfect. She doesn't know the first thing about business. They all counting on me to come up with a great idea. Yeah, you're going to do nothing, girl. Let's just do nothing and trust people would turn up. Oh, you had to get a clue there? That was cheap. It's just us in here now. I wish I would at least tell you like when a clue is coming up. Of all things, a gym choice is what gives you a clue. It's fascinating just how fast he changes. Just one moment again, he was the serious CEO. But now, the devilish smirk will be the death of me. Callum, he locks the door behind him. Are you okay? Are you hurt anywhere? They took you away before I could check on you last night. I'm fine. Let me see with my own eyes. Oh, as Callum stepped closer to me, I immediately felt my heart begin to race. The warmth of his sweet breath against my neck was driving me wild. Let him examine my body? I don't think so. You ain't gonna lock the door like that. No, ma'am. Can we stop for some boba on the way home? I'm afraid not, Miss Aldridge. You may or may not be a target, and we should refrain from venturing to unfamiliar places. The station in the office then chauffeured back to the mansion. I guess that's my life now. The life of an heiress. No more silly princess gowns or bunny suits, but no freedom to pop by the nearest boba tea shop for boba either. I feel so bad. She got thrown into this whole life. What do you do after work? Me? I work out at the gym. The gym. And you're familiar with the place then? There's no one in here. I own the place. <laughs> what? He's also the owner of a gym? Just who is he really? So what do you normally do in here, Lift Why are you being a bodyguard then? You own a gym. Miss Aldous, you really shouldn't be here. I don't want to go back to the mansion yet. Besides, I could use a lesson in self-defense. You can't fight off a falling chandelier. 
there's some workout attire in the changing room. Okay, what should I put on? Uh, hoodie? Oh, that's a cute outfit. I'm going with this one. Let's get some self-defense in. Am I doing right? Your posture. He gets behind me, and I thought he maintains a respectful distance, as they should. I could still feel his breath fanning my neck. Ooh. Get in close. One match. Of course not, Miss Aldrich. How could I throw punches at you? It's just for fun. You're no longer my bodyguard in here, and I'm not your boss. Also, drop the Miss Aldrich. It's Freya. We need some points with him to see how he is. Miss Aldrich. I throw a punch, but he easily avoids it. I throw another and again, he avoids it without even flinching. You're going to have to try a little harder. I put everything I want into this punch, but Marcellus dodges it anyway. I lose my footing and feel myself falling forward. Oh, he catches me and takes the brunt of the fall as I land on top of him. It didn't help that we were sweaty from the workout before and our clothes were clinging onto our bodies. I could trace the outline of his lean body. I wasn't the only one unnerved. Marcellus gulps nervously. Are you okay? Are you okay? Oops. For the first time ever, there's a small smile on his face. Thank you for showing me around your gym tonight. You're welcome. I guess we're headed back to the mansion now? There's one more stop we have to make. Oh, he took us to the boba shop. I had someone check out the plates while we were at the gym. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that was sweet. That was sweet. Okay, you have to be there for the opening of the Aldridge Resort. There'll be a party for the official opening. I've set aside two days for you to spend some time there. Two days at this beautiful beach resort. Freya. Elliot's here too. Elliot, what are you doing here? My father invited me. Also, I feel like we haven't spent much time together. Do you not want me to be here? Of course not. Freya. Everyone be here. Callum, what are you doing here? I'm a shareholder in this resort. I have to be here for the opening. So we meet again, boys. The competition is out. Freya. Oh, and Dean's here. Why do I like Dean? I'm kind of feeling Dean. Oh, I like all of them. Can we have all four of them? That'd be the most lit option. Could you imagine? What a queen at the end. She's like, my four men. I'm spending two days with all of them? Yes. 